Hello Internet, I'm Dan. I'm Chaz. This is Wine of Serious Business, episode 98. Getting really close to 100. Yeah, we're excited really about close. that. We're going to fill it out just before Dan leaves for his big trip. So for, uh, for episode 98, uh, we're sticking around with Oregon, hitting some more current releases. We've got Chardonnay from 2009. Some of our favorite producers, looking forward to sharing them with you. Yeah. Um, These are all reserve bottlings too. So this is, this is a single vineyard one for Imsham. And then a reserve, and then the Arthur from Druin. I don't think Druin makes anything less than their Arthur or anything more. They do. They, they make, oh. but it's really it's like club only and small production. Okay. Um, so so this is yeah. you know the bulk you know the vast majority of the fruit, and they put a lot of effort into, into making making this beer. Okay, so. awesome. Yeah, and, and, and from year to year, the Arthurs that I've had have been very very good. So uh, but yeah, get right into the first wine. So the first wine is. One that we've had on the show before with when, with Bo was the Ipsham Wood Le Puy Sec Chardonnay from uh, yeah from from Yolanda Hills 2009. Yep, and uh, <laughs> we, we, we did the 2008. We loved it. Um, it was one we discovered took a little while to open up, um, and uh, this is made right the uh, single vineyard and a very small pot. They make one barrel of this every year. Still very reasonably priced, as most of their wines are. I want to say like 22, 24 bucks. Yeah, right around right around twenty dollars um, for for you know rock solid Chardonnay from a well-respected producer. Yeah, and they put a lot of effort into this bottling too. Not that they don't for their excuse me, Lemon Valley Chardonnay, but um, the vintages that we've had of this so far have just been absolutely brilliant. So get like a lemon cheesecake on the nose. Yeah, it's like, like a little creamy, little but the creamy. acidity's coming through. Yeah, the lemons and then stick out. There's like a richness that pie. You smell the whole pie there. A little bit of something floral there too. Nice nose. Opening yeah, up, opening up nicely. Man, yeah. you said that pie, and that's really like almost all I'm getting now. It's like rich, and there's like a. a Bright, a bright acidity too coming through on the nose, and plenty of it. All right, yeah. like it definitely suggesting a lot of acidity on the palate here. So very, very sweet and rich. Yeah. Lemons coming through in full form. Yeah, and really kind of like a little bit of, you know, like lemon cream mm -hmm. almost. Very light feel on the palate too. Mm -hmm. Like this is very, very uh, feminine in its approach. Like very, very reserved. Not trying to coat your tongue. Just giving a uh, small amount of flavor, but, but very, very linear and balanced in its approach with the acidity and the, and the flavors. And I want to hit that too. So I'm getting some cream flavors, a little bit of richness. It's not like the buttery, you know, or like heavy cream yeah. flavors you get from like the heavier oak Chardonnays that are really going for a lot of richness. The acidity here is definitely the overwhelming characteristic. Absolutely. And it's like hints of richness that kind of like flesh it out a little bit, but it's still like a lean, crisp wine. White stone minerality to it too. Mm. Something on the tail end that's like pairing with the acidity, but it's like almost crystalline or something feeling. It's weird. The fruit has a bit of a delicate feel to it. it kind of lingers on the center of the palate. Again, you know, this lemon flavor acidity is kind of still kind of the dominant thing. It runs on the sides of my mouth. It's kind of lingering on the finish, but it's nice. I like a lot of acidity in my white wine, so it works well for me. Um, man, yeah, like I know there's a little bit of oak here, but you can barely tell. Like, yeah. it's really gently used. And it's just a little bit of richness, and that's about it. Um, a little bit of warmth. Yeah, what do say? Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. Solid stuff. Good, Good shit, shit, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Perfect summer wine. Just super refreshing and complex enough to where it's, like, super interesting. Um, Don't talk about pairings a whole lot. White fish. I want it. That would be good. Halibut. Yeah. Um, 89 plus. 89 minus. All right. So, yeah. right solid top stuff. Each other. Yep. Yeah. Uh, wine number two, uh, Johan, Reserve Chardonnay from 2009. Uh, we had Don, Dan and Dog on as guests not too long ago. Awesome guys, biodynamically farmed. Um, again, we, we know them, they put a lot of love into their vineyard. A lot of hard work into the wines. Their whites have been exceptional, you know, since, well, I like all of their stuff, but, but like, their whites really stand out to me since I, since I discovered them. Absolutely. So I've been really looking forward to giving this a try. I feel the same way. They do a lot of cool stuff with their whites. And one thing that's kind of interesting, you can almost see, I don't know if you guys can see the cloudiness in this, but it's wine, it's bottle, it's almost room, it's not room temperature. It's, no, it's a little probably like 10 or 15 degrees below, but it's not sweating or anything. I mean, it's, 
It's cloudy. It That's what cloudy. I thought at first, right? I'm like, oh, yeah. it's just condensing on the bottle. It's totally not. Like, no. Like, un yeah, unfiltered. Yep. And you said there was four barrels of this? Four or five. I'm trying, I want to think, I want to say it was five. And uh, we tasted through them. They had some sulfur and some unsulfured barrels. And uh, man, just absolutely beautiful um, when we bottled it. I was, <laughs> could have drank it right out of the barrel. Or so, the bucket. Yeah, or the or definitely, <laughs> definitely drank some out of the bucket while I was there bottling, so. <laughs> Definitely more richness on the nose yeah. here. It's a little more full. There's still like a really firm backbone of acidity, and I'm going to go with lemons again. Getting more richness. Wow, we're talking that's... about like the lemons and the fruits coming through, but this is yeah. just getting bigger as it sits in the glass. So I was, I was leaning more towards nectarines, like stone fruits, but man, it's still there. But man, the richness is like coming through. It's a little bit of that butteriness going on too. Yeah. Like not over the top. I'm digging it. Yes, yeah, this is really, really nice. Decadent nose. Very decadent. decadent. My girlfriend, who's not that much into these sort of white wines, she smelled this and she was like, that smells really good. Stuck it in her face right before she left. Mm. Lemons are coming through again, but they're balanced by some more uh, mm. richer fruit. You know, he was talking about nectarines, and I'm kind of going to kind of run with that, or like yeah. a barely ripe peach. Um, but just some really nice fruit flavors mixed in with the citrus. The lemon's outlasting everything on the end. Yeah. Kind of drying things up. Yeah, really drying things up on the back of the palate. Nice long evolution there. Dan's killing it today. You thought you were going to be the weak one. With your I know. Yeah, you're smashing it. But I get a little bit of like green melon as well. Specifically closer to the rind. Like a little bit of tartness nice. or a little bit of bitterness coming through, but like green melon along with these like nectarines and like substantial lemon flavors. The richness is still holding on on the finish for mm. 10, 15, 20 seconds. I mean, it's long. And, and I'm really digging like there's a full spectrum of flavor here. Yeah. Um, even in the front and the mid palate, like I'm really getting like the citrus, the richness, you know, a full expression of fruit, you know, including some of those stone fruits, a little bit of apples going on I think too. Yeah. Be a good integration between all of them. Not, mm -hmm. like, not like chunks of them that are all in weird places. Like you're getting seamless integration amongst all of these flavors as they transition. And more to come. Like I expect it to integrate into the finish a little bit more. A lot of those flavors kind of fade as the mid palate, mid -palate rolls off. And I'm left with, uh, you know, that city drying things out, keeping things clean. A little bit of the richness faintly. Mm -hmm. The acidity is crazy. Lemons and limes. You say it's just like you just bit into a lemon or something. Mm -hmm. Not as tart, right? But wow, full ninety minus for me. Delicious. Uh, yeah, man, I really enjoyed it. Getting up there for me, ninety one plus. Um, I really like the complexity and like where this is. And I think it'll be a more, an interesting wine as it ages. Yeah, and for, and for me, it, it'll. I think it'll push push up a little bit more as it integrates to the finish a little more for me. That's what I'm looking forward to. But mm -hmm. the flavors are rock solid. Well done. I like cloudy Chardonnay. All right. Totally. Wine number three. Uh, this is the uh, Artur uh, 2009 from Domain Druin. Um, so it's not Arthur. They say Artur, right, French pronunciation, yeah. which we don't do very well across yeah. the board. But I've, when I go out there, they, I've heard Arthur, Arthur a hundred times, times, right? Yeah. So, all right. Well, learn something new One way or the other. I, yeah. yeah. Silly American. Yeah. All right. Distinctly different, man, even on the rinse, all three of these definitely kind of uh, kind of up our alley with the Florida City, but the flavors are definitely distinct in all of them. Uh, similar regions. We both have Yola Amity for these two, and then uh, Dundee Hills. Yep. Dundee Hills. Dundee. Getting like red apple scents here with the uh, like crisp acidity again, like tons of acidity on the yep. nose, and I, I lean more towards limes than lemons here. Yeah, get some honey crisp apple things going on here, like really, really fresh apples, like fresh cut, just bam, delicious and juicy. Even like a dusting of nutmeg, right? Like maybe that's a little bit of the oak coming mm -hmm. through there, but it's not yeah. dominant again, like way in the background. Yeah, when we popped these initially just to make sure they weren't uh, cork, the, the, the oak was sticking out substantially for me. This is, the fruit is came forward a little more now, so definitely give these a little bit of air time. Maybe even decant it if you're going to drink it, pop it and drink it. Crisp and clean on the nose, mm -hmm. though. It smells awesome. Yeah. 
nice. The apple flavors, both red and green, are coming through on the palate with the greens being a little tart, drying things out fully on the back end. Some of like the skins, maybe you bit into the core a little bit, you're getting a little bit of seeds uh, on the back end of this as well. Citrus is more driven by limes. With fresh cantaloupe. Big time. Big time orange melon deliciousness on this, on the mid palate. You eat a lot of cantaloupe? I know they're not quite in season. Yeah, I eat them. All right. I love the cantaloupe is something I grew up with my whole childhood. Apples specifically and cantaloupe is pretty much what I grew up on. So mm. and a lot of watermelon. Yeah, I love the watermelon. Mm. And it starts off pretty strong with the apple flavors. I get like a healthy dose of cantaloupe, orange melon stuff going on in the mid palate. And the mid palate length on here is long. Maybe really cool. good acidity car carries it along too for Nice finish. It gets up in the sides of the mouth yeah. around the gums too, like it's drying things out. Not, I think this has a little, little more forks to the dryness, but this is a lot more full. It covers the whole mouth, mm -hmm. lingers a really long time. You get a little bit of like bee pollen or like just a faint hint of honey in the mid palate here too. Really well made. All of these are, all of these are totally delivering see that. on that point. Like I, all There's kind of a unique expression. Almost, yeah. Good flavors. That's good. These are all good. <laughs> this was another good show where we uh, were able to pull off three delicious wines. Yeah. And uh, I'd say this one is a little more direct, too. There's the, the other ones have a little more complexity. This one, the flavors hit and just kind of linger, roll across the palate, stick around, you know, for a nice length on the finish. Everything's it's really crisp. Point. But the, but the flavor, you know, like what you taste right away is what sticks with you through the whole experience. It's true. I, I think this is one of my favorite vintages of, of this I've ever had. I mean, this is I've heard really that from a couple good. other people. Yeah, really quite good. I really don't. I mean, I've. I've is always this one liked I traded you? Did I give you one of these yeah. too? Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is the one you traded me. This is a wine I've always liked, but I've never been like that terribly fond of. But this is really, really good. 90, 90 plus for me, easy. Oh, I'm sting, I'm stingy today. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eighty nine on it. I'm behind Chaz on two of the significant. Two of the bottles, I guess, but uh, but still, like, make no mistake, these are all solid, <clears throat> very enjoyable. Um, what they all come, they all come in. What this is, this is Thumbs twenty, up. this is 30, 35. 35, 35, and this is high twenties. Oh, oh, good, I'm glad you see he did his research. That's good. Yeah. I should know that. Um, right. All deliver solidly at the, well, actually, wow, considering that all they, of them deliver at their price, point. like spot on, yeah. spot on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Delicious stuff. I encourage you to check them out. We've heard a lot of people talking, um, like on boards and amongst friends, about 2019 the Noir. What are the characteristics of it? How do you think it's going to age? I haven't heard much about Chardonnay. I haven't, yeah. Um, what do you guys think? 2009 white wines. That's a good question. Yeah, let us know. Look, yeah, we love please. Some yeah, I would love some input. I got a lot of these wines. So I think we both do. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time for 99. Come on, Cheers. Bye.